Hello budget people and welcome back to my channel. I'm She's on a Budget and today we are back for another video. In this video I'll be closing down my budget for week four of March as well as my overall monthly budget. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching, stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on yet another video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos. Okay, so I'm gonna be closing down week four. First of all, I've already laid down my expense stickers, guys. I'm just gonna talk you through what I have done. I have finally reached half term. So currently I am on what we call the Easter break over in the UK. So I have two weeks from work. This last week, I say a week, but technically it's kind of run over 10 days. I like to keep my monthly budgets over a four week duration. Um, but yeah, you can do it over five. I just like to do it over four weeks. And if it means that one of the weeks are eight or nine days, I don't really mind. So this is the case for this week, but I have still managed to stay within my amount. So it's obviously towards the higher end than usual, but yeah, nonetheless, it's still been a good week. So in terms of groceries, for this week I spent 52 pounds 34 and my household budget was completely used so I used the full 10 pounds in there so overall my total food bill was 62 pounds 34 but yeah as I said towards the higher end but I'm not going to complain at all and then I used all of the money that I had budgeted for utility so gas and electric which was 40 pounds and the only money I spent on fuel for these 10 days was 20 pounds so that does mean that for the first week I didn't actually spend any money guys which is good and it was kind of expected because I did go over accidentally on my first week so yeah Let's see how this looks in my weekly check-in. Okay, so I have my grocery dividers here and I'm just gonna go through them with you while I check each one in. So at the beginning of the week, I had 50 pounds in my grocery divider. We did spend 52 pounds and 34 pence. So it does mean like for the first time this month, I went over budget by two pounds 34. Not something to worry about or cry about. As I said, this budget was over 10 days as opposed to the usual seven. So it's bound to happen. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, I'm actually quite relieved that I didn't do any further damage. And then for household, at the beginning of the week, I put 10 pounds in and I spent that full 10 pounds. Utilities was the same. At the beginning of the week, I put 40 pounds and that was all used for gas and electric and then for fuel as you saw over those 10 days i managed to get away with just putting the 20 pounds that i kind of usually do guys on a weekly basis from the envelope so i am left with 15 pounds and if i go to my fuel divider here here is the 15 pounds that is left over. So I'm just gonna take that out of my divider and then I'll put this cash into what seems like my ever-growing debt snowball envelope. In terms of unbudgeted expenses, I do not have any unbudgeted expenses for this week. Technically that two pounds 34 is coming from, you know, this pool of like money, but yeah, um, other than that, we are all good to go for week four. Okay, so I'm at my monthly budget page. So this is the overall budget for March and I've really started to fill a little bit of it in. So I'll talk you through what I've done so far. At the beginning of the month, I predicted that my income from my full-time job would be 1,930 pounds. It in fact was more or less bang on guys, 78 pence more, but yeah, exactly as predicted. And I think this is probably the first time this year maybe ever that all of my numbers have kind of matched up exactly as i predicted them to be other than my full-time income so my variable income was the same etsy was the same and obviously so was my rollover so in actual fact my total income was 78 pence more which was three thousand and 65 pounds 90. In terms of my variable expenses, again, we were really, really close to the mark. 
groceries I went over by the £2.34 that you just saw so in actual fact it was £202.34 which again I'm not going to split hairs about guys I think I actually had that amount in my account anyway because I do not always put the exact amount of money into my envelopes each week sometimes there is some change left over so that £2.34 I didn't need to like you know use my emergency fund which I would usually do if I go over in terms of household we use the exact amount that we budgeted for which was £40 same for utilities which was 160 and the same for fuel now you will have noticed that there were weeks obviously many weeks where I didn't use my full fuel budget but because I put the remaining amount of that money into my debt snowball envelope technically I have still consumed the full budget so in total we are looking at 542 pounds and 34 pence moving on to my breakdown now so at the beginning of the month I predicted it would be 3065 and 12 pence for income it was in fact 3065.90 and in terms of my outgoings I had £2,979.46. So the total amount of money I have left over for March is... £86.44. Okay guys, so that is all done for March. As usual ever so grateful to have some money left over at the end of the month I've already taken out the 86 pounds from the bank so that I can put it into my debt snowball envelope as well as the 15 pounds I had left over from my fuel divider so I will be adding this into that envelope straight away and in order to check out the final total that I have for my debt snowball envelope for this month do tune in to watch my Debt Snowball payoff video for March. It will be released in the next couple of days. It's going to be a big one. Okay, so I can now come in and tick off my last expense stickers for the month of March, as well as my bill due stickers. So they are all done. And finally, I can come in and put down my no spend stickers for the month. And for the first time, it has been a whitewash. First time in a long time it is definitely a whitewash i'm really really pleased to see so many no spend stickers but yeah guys that is all for now i do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please not forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see do not forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos and i'll speak to you in the next one bye guys